Hi friends, welcome to the new series Angular Interview Concepts with Explanation. In this series, I am explaining some of the concepts those are most focused on Angular interviews. If you just prepare for your Angular interview like a question and answer format, it won't help you a lot. If the same question is asked differently, you may struggle. Instead, if you understand the core concept behind that, you will not forget forever and you can easily answer. That is what I am trying to explain with some examples. Let's start. What is the difference between ng on init and constructor? This is one of the most popular questions in Angular interviews. Also, this is one of the most confusing things when building an Angular component in which we have to decide what to put in the constructor and what to put in the ng on init method. Both of these methods are used for similar purposes. Both fire once at the beginning of the life of a component. That is the reason it is confusing. Actually, the constructor is a feature of TypeScript class itself. It's not an Angular feature. The constructor is a default method of the class that is executed when the class is instantiated. In Angular, the constructor is mainly used for injecting dependencies into the component class. But ng on init is a lifecycle hook called by Angular to indicate that Angular is done creating the component. In a constructor also, we can write some logic that will execute as soon as the class is instantiated. But it is not recommended. ng on init is a better place for this. It's better to avoid writing actual work in the constructor and we need to keep the constructor as simple as possible. Let me also show you an example when not to write some logic in constructor. I have created a very simple Angular application in which I have an app component inside that I have used a child component and I am passing a value from app component to child component. In child component, I am receiving that value using at input decorator and I am also having another variable formatted value. This is what I am showing in the child component HTML. And in ng on init, I am having a logic in which I am checking whether the value from parent is less than 50. If it is less than 50, I am assigning a value less than 50. Otherwise, I am assigning the value greater than or equal to 50. From the app component, I am passing 25. And so we can see value from parent component is less than 50. Now let me move this logic to the constructor. Now also we can see the same result. Let me change the value in app component from 25 to 75. See, now it is wrong. If I move this logic back to ng on init, we can see it is coming correctly. Do you have any idea why it is behaving like this? Let me put some console logs. Now we can understand the input bound property is getting its value only in the on init, not in the constructor. This is another reason to avoid writing logics inside constructor. Hope you understood the difference now. Please subscribe to my channel and support me. I'll be back with another concept soon. Thank you. Bye.